Hi, I'm Liam from Raw Signal Data Analytics, and in this video, I'm going to ask the big question. What is the fastest data frame library in Python? Until recently, this wasn't much of a question. Most data scientists use pandas, and if they needed to speed up their queries, they used Dask. However, two powerful new libraries have come along. DuckDB, which is written in C++ and queried using SQL, and Polars, which is written in Rust and is a Python API. We're going to do a simple test on a large data set to see which of these is fastest. This comparison follows on from two great blog posts. This post from Matthew Powers that compares the performance of Pandas with Dask, and this post from Gerard Bentley that compares the performance of DuckDB and Pandas. You can find the links to these below. We'll look at the same data set used by Matthew Powers in the Dask blog post. It's an artificial data set with 100 million rows. We want to group by one of the ID columns and sum by one of the value columns. We'll start by doing our imports. For DuckDB, we also need to import PyArrow to read the CSV. Once we've got our CSV file path, we can start building queries. One of the challenges of this kind of analysis is defining the baseline. Experienced users who know the tricks have a different baseline than novice users. However, both are relevant, so we'll define some naive queries as well as optimized queries. For pandas, the naive query is to read in all the columns before doing the group by, while the optimized query is to only read the two columns relevant for the group by. We can also get a faster pandas query by reading the CSV with the Py Arrow engine instead of the default C engine. For Dask, we take the optimized query proposed in the blog post and in addition, we limit reading the CSV to just the two relevant columns. For DuckDB, we have again a naive query where we read the full CSV and an optimized query where we only read the two relevant columns. Finally, we have the Polar's query. In this case, we don't have to apply any optimization as Polar's will automatically detect that we are only interested in two columns when reading from the CSV. Now we can time the output of these queries. For pandas, the naive query with this 100 million row dataset takes 2 minutes 40 seconds, while the optimized pandas query is about a minute faster. If we use the PyArrow engine in pandas, it's a bit slower than the optimized query and takes just over 2 minutes. The optimized DAS query runs quite a bit faster at 38 seconds especially once we include the optimization to select a subset of the columns. Now we look at DuckDB. In the naive query, where we read all the columns, the query takes 16 seconds. If we add in the optimization to select a subset of columns, then the query takes just seven seconds. However, Polar's is even faster than this at just six seconds. Bear in mind, that this is without any optimizations. Polars has taken care of this for us. So what conclusions can we draw from this simple test? Firstly, the native parallelism of Polars and DuckDB appears to be much faster than parallelizing pandas with Dask. Secondly, Polars makes it easy to write fast queries by integrating the read from the CSV with the subsequent analysis. With Polars, you don't need to know about a separate library for reading the CSV and how to optimize it. On the basis of this, I highly recommend Polars for anyone looking to accelerate their data science workflow. Across a range of data sets, it provides fast performance without needing any tricks from you. If you're interested in getting started with Polars, check out my other videos where I talk through some of the key ideas. You can also subscribe to be notified of new videos as they come along.